All right, so we're going to talk about the equation of a plane and how we get it. Um, so we start with a standard equation. This is kind of what we're going for. Uh, and it should look familiar from our algebra classes with a little bit of a different for our three dimensions. But it's just some ax plus by plus cz equals d, where a, these are going to be numbers that we determine. These are coordinates, right, x, y, and z along those axes. And so uh, the kind of idea of what we do here is maybe a little bit foreign. We have some plane p, right? So we have a plane. And then in that plane, we have a point, so an initial point that's known, um, so that we have that value that's somewhere on the plane. And then we basically take a general point, any other point on the plane. So this could be anything else, and again, it's variable with x, y, and z. And then um, we're going to figure out a vector between them, right? So that's that uh, displacement vector, which is going to be the subtraction of p minus p naught. Um, and then... So we are going to subtract those values, and again, that's just subtracting uh, x, a, y minus b, and z minus c, and all those times our unit vectors, i, j, and k. And then what's a little bit strange is we're going to take what's called a normal vector to the plane. So a normal vector is a perpendicular vector. So uh, the angle is going to be 9 degrees, and that's going to be helpful for our dot product. Because if you remember, if you take the dot product of two perpendicular vectors, you get zero. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to use the fact that when we take the dot product, we get zero, and that's going to allow us to get to this equation. So our dot product is going to multiply x minus a times whatever n has for the i component, y minus b times whatever n has for the j component, and that for the uh, k component as well. So let's look at an example. Um, so we have, uh, if we want to find the equation of a plane, uh, given a point uh, and a normal vector. All right, so we're given the normal vector and we're given a point. Uh, and we're going to find the equation of the plane. So there's my point, there's my vector. All right, there's my point. I again take a general point, x, y, and z. My displacement vector subtracts those values and we get x minus 6i, y minus 7j. Uh, and that k. And then the normal vector is right there. And we take the dot product where we could deal with it like this, right? Cosine of theta. However, that's zero. So the whole thing goes to be zero because we have 90 degrees there. Uh, we also have our dot product, right? Is the components multiplied by each other. So that's just uh, my n value, right? For that value for the three times the component I for I, and across the board the 5, times uh, whatever for J, and so on. And so we're going to substitute and set them equal to each other. So basically we get 0 is that value, right? And then it's just math to work through, and we're going to distribute and get our equation of the plane uh, in our AX plus BY plus CZ equals D form. Um, and we're going to notice something when we get to the end here. So that's my equation of a plane, all right? And that's what I wanted. But if you'll notice, right, we had a 3 up here, and we got a 3 down there, and a negative 5 here, and a negative 5 there, and a 4 there, and a 4 there. And we're always going to get that because that's our general formula here. These are the n values that distribute through and become our coefficients on x, y, and z. And we can use that fact for other examples. So this is a, a kind of more formalized thing of what we just did. Right, our equation of a plane, I have a point, I have a unit vector, I'm sorry, a normal vector. These values, 2, negative 3, and 4, are going to be A, B, and C for my values up here. Right, what I need to find is D, uh, and I can do that pretty easily. So we take our perpendicular normal vector, and we're going to multiply that. Uh, we're going to take the dot product of that with this displacement vector. Uh, which is from the general point. So again, right, we subtract our values uh, given the point on the plane and the point on the plane is up here. And then this dot product is going to get dealt with with uh, n and so that becomes our dot product. And then from that point on it's just kind of simplifying the arithmetic to get it into the form we want it. So you distribute and gather like uh, the constants and move them to the other side and then there you go that's the equation of your plane and again keeping in mind right that the two was there 
the two is there, negative three, negative three, four, four, and then we just got to figure out that number, uh, which as we can see is those numbers times the points that we had on the point that was known. All right. <clears throat> So it will always, uh, not always necessarily be uh, that simple, but we can um, work through this, right? Uh, we can put that directly into our form and go from there. And this is just noticing what we talked about before, that those values, right, at the end part, are going to be your normal vector. So normal vector coefficients on your plane, okay? Um, so here's another couple of examples, right? I've been given a point, I've been given a normal vector, and we have another point that we set, right? And we can work through it. I uh, get the displacement vector, right? There it is. And then we're going to get our dot product and go from there. Same thing we did on the other ones. Set it equal to zero. And we get all the way there and done, right? We distribute, simplify, and we get a value. All right. However, we can use the fact that we know those are going to be our values. So I know the equation of the plane has to look like this, right? Equals some d value. And I know values for x, y, and z given that point. So I just plug those in, right? I get plug those in, I get a value directly for d, and that's going to be my equation as I go forward. All right, one that's maybe a little trickier is the next one. I want to find the equation of plane perpendicular to a segment which contains a, these two points and passes through the midpoint of these values. So um, what we have is some displacement vector, AB, and it's perpendicular to a plane, right? And we know that it's going to go through the midpoint. So that's my displacement vector. And I get it in component form. And what I want to know is right how that's going to look. So there's my coordinate system. There's A and B. That's my displacement vector. There's my plane through the midpoint. And basically, I am going to take that position vector, which is from the origin, and I want to add that value to it. That's half the value. And that becomes my normal vector. Okay, And so my normal vector is going to be the thing that we just found here okay um, but it's going to be that that value so as we look at that I'm going to do a plus one half a b that gives me that that vector from here to here okay so that becomes uh, my normal piece plus one half that value that's one half of the normal vector combine like terms and you get i, j, and k those become your equation and you take those values into your x, y, and z points because that is your position vector, those are your coordinates and that gives you your d value which then gives you your um, equation. So it's the same as above, right? You got your normal vector to the plane, you got the actual point where you're looking at, right? This is vector form, but as an order triple x, y, and z. And then you plug those in, just like we did up here, that gives you d, and that can then give you the equation of the plane, which is what you were looking for.